Today, we're gonna to be answering questions from the comment section. As you may know, our first video of the Vector Grill got over 3,000 comments, and we read pretty much all of them. We wanted to get your feedback because if there's any way we can improve, we wanna know about it. And most of you guys had some really good, positive information for us. We took a lot of that to heart. You know, our design team looked at a lot of these, these comments that were being made, and it was actually really helpful. We also noticed that there was a trend a lot of people were concerned with the brightness of the grill, that it was so bright it was gonna blind oncoming traffic. And that's not what we're trying to do with this. We designed this to actually do the complete opposite. But there was lots of people commenting about this and some of these people were downright angry. So we wanna go ahead and make sure that we address these comments and show you guys why the glare versus brightness is really important when it comes to this product. And it's not like we don't understand why you guys are so skeptical. We've tested several different Jeep Wrangler aftermarket headlights, and there were some out there that just caused an enormous amount of glare. And honestly, they're just not even safe for street, for street use at all. So yes, the Vector Grill is bright. It has much more light output than the factory headlights. But brightness isn't what blinds oncoming traffic. Glare does. While these lights on the right may appear to be brighter, that's not actually the case. It's the glare that you're seeing that makes them appear to be more bright. We designed the Vector Grill specifically for this reason. By moving the driving beam, low beam, and high beam out of the same assembly, designing precision optics, and making each beam individually adjustable, we're able to prevent glare, even on lifted Wranglers. Here's an example of a wall test. From 15 feet away, you can see here there's a very distinct cutoff line where the light pattern does not glare or bleed over into the visibility of oncoming traffic. But the same light in this example gives you ample visibility off-road as well as in this example, lighting a dark road at night. How dark is that road? Yeah, that's a big difference. So to recap, yes, the Vector Grill is very bright, but through precision optics and engineering, we're able to focus that light and put it on the road where the driver needs it rather than into the eyes of oncoming traffic. So if you have any more questions about the Vector Grill, please leave a comment. Maybe we'll pick your comment to make our next video about. Thanks for watching.